was up to me, owning a Porsche and not taking it to a racetrack would be classified as a crime. Now the German manufacturer might be making more SUVs than all of its sports cars combined, but real Porsche ownership is experienced through motorsports, which is why we're here at Queensland Raceway to learn how to drive fast. One of the programs that sets Porsche apart from a lot of the pretenders is the Porsche Sports Driving School. Now there are five classes in this, today I'm doing level four, which is called the master class in the GT3 RS. Now the main thing here is being taught by real racing drivers with a race engineer. It's going to be an epic day, so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's jump in and see how I go. Now if I look a little nervous, that's because I am. Though I've done a fair bit of track stuff before, I've never had a pro driver judge my every move, right down to the millisecond. After a steady outlap, I'm starting to fly. All right, now onto the main straight. They tell me I gotta hug this corner coming in, and you just go flat out here. You're just going flat out, flat out, flat out. You get close to 200 kilometers an hour and then really hard on the brakes. Turn in, turn one. Oh man, there is so much grip here. This is ridiculous. Uh, turn two, you're supposed to go a bit wide, they tell me. What I really love is I'm getting instructions through the helmet as I'm, as I'm driving and uh, it's, uh, it may sound distracting, but it's really helpful because they can see everything I do. They're standing, they can see the whole track from the pit here and so I'm getting a hell of a lot of instructions and it's so handy. Then it dawns on me, talking and driving while taking instructions isn't the way to put in a decent lap time. Sessions last 10 laps, then it's in to see a race engineer for a debrief and some guidance. For the record, I put in a straight 67 second lap on my first session out and then a simply astounding, well, for me at least, 62 straight on my second time out. The data analysis is amazing, being able to sit there and look at the data uh, and see where you're going wrong and then go back out and try it again. That is, I mean, that is, that's a game changer. Like, you have no idea how much better your lap time gets, so. So the guys tell me, coming down this straight, I really have to brake a lot harder than I am. And I thought I was braking really hard, but I'm really not. So what I'm talking about is this. Oh, Jesus, and you just sort of turn it in. And man, I mean, oh, the grip levels here are insane. And apparently you can catch a whole second lap time just by doing that. But just like the others, one late braking point leads to an exit point missed and then the opportunity to beat that 62 second lap passes by. Doesn't matter though, plenty more laps to come. This is such an epic day. Um, and you're doing it in somebody else's car, so I, I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with that because I would be quite scared pushing this hard in my own car. As I make my way around to start the next lap, I am determined to make this one count. Oh, I keep hearing, brake harder, brake harder, um, braking harder. Oh, man, this is this is going into turn six here, and it's, and you're in fifth gear. You brake really hard down to and you turn it in, kind of miss the first apex by about a meter, and then you really gotta catch that second apex coming onto the straight and squeeze the throttle. Ah. Down about almost 200 here. Brake hard, down two gears, back to fourth. Oh, gripping the apex here. Yeah, I come out wide. You stick out pretty wide for turn two. I, I wouldn't have thought that, but geez, instructions are amazing. You know, you really learn. And then the late apex here, really nicely nailing that one. You come out wide for turn three. Turn three is a bitch. It just is. It just is. Break really hard. Down to third. Get, catch the first apex. Come out wide and really oh, and full throttle onto this one. Break hard into turn four. <laughs> Man, you know. Without these instructions, I, I genuinely don't think I'd be doing nearly as well as I am here. I'm just, this constant coaching in my ear is amazing. 
Porsche uses satellite tracking and heavy data analysis to work out what you're doing wrong on the track and how to improve it. So, after each session, it's in for a debrief. I'm gonna go talk to my race engineer, Lee, who's been doing this for 26 years. He's gonna tell me where I suck. No, no, very good job there, mate. Um, we did a 60.2, quicker than our session before. So, you know, to be into the, the 60s on your third run, not too many people do that, okay? Right. How many people get into the uh, out of 60s? Below 60? Yeah. I think we've had about three people. All right, that's the aim then. So that's the, that's the thing, <laughs> eh? Crack that, what we call the uh, sound barrier, Thomas will talk about. So cracking the 60, 60 second mark yeah. is Thomas is cracking the sound barrier in motorsport. All okay? right then. So we can have a look here. So your um, blue lap is your best lap. And if we put up our reference lap here, what we've been using, so 59.1. For the record, who, who's the reference lap? Who did it? It's actually Thomas. Thomas, right. Yep. Okay. Yep. But we use the 59.0 okay. of Thomas. It's just a nice, smooth lap. Right, um, okay. But as you can see here, obviously turn one. Yep. Virtually identical. So okay. very good job. Okay. Very good job. Turn two, all right. So turn two, we're braking quite good, just still releasing the brake a little bit too early. So carrying too much speed to that apex, mm -hmm. which is then delaying your, your exit. Okay? So, so we I'm need slower to out of the exit because I'm braking too late, is that what you're No, you're braking fine, you're okay. just releasing the brake too quickly. Okay, you can see right. you're holding the brake, you're trialling the brake here, but then you basically get straight off it and let the car coast. So basically from, from this point here to our apex cone, it's about 20 to 25 metres. Yep you're letting the car go, so you... I should be still braking. Exactly right. Just a little bit of brake, but we keep that um, weight on the front of the car, keep the nose, nose weighted, mm -hmm. okay? Whereas you're releasing, which then just delays the rotation of the car at the apex, which then delays your throttle. It's funny, so they're getting slower than me, but then getting faster because they're exactly better. Exactly right, yeah. yeah. So, slow in, mm. fast out, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know, a bit like our traction circle. Yeah tyre will only take so much. So if you're putting X amount of load while cornering, you then can't apply that load to the acceleration. Yep, yep. Okay. Turn three, very good. Okay, we can see here, using the brake pressure, a lot firmer, mm -hmm. okay? And basically, once again, can release the brake a little bit earlier. You've jumped off the brake in the middle of the apex, and that's- Is that turn three? Yep. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, you're breaking but, the whole way through? Yep, but oh, you're, really? you're, you're just Slow. releasing and then you jump off it. Okay, uh, so we just that last little bit, we just want to hold the brake for another another 10, 15 metres okay. just to keep the weight on the car. See, you're still turning. If I put my cursor here and zoom in over here. Okay, so that's when you've released the brake. Right. So you've still got about another 15 metres to go, whereas you see where this one is. Right there. So right. if you look at our our map, you know, you've you've jumped off the brake there, whereas we need to get off the brake slower there. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then that just delays you know, you've got what have you got there? Oh what's that? Three, four, five Ks more speed than than, than Thomas? Yep. Okay. So that just allows the car to not rotate quite as quick, which then delays the throttle application. That's yep. why your exit's not quite as good. Yep, yep. All right, turn four, okay. Similar trait to before, we can brake a little bit later and a little bit firmer. Okay, so you're just a little bit easy on the brake there and carrying a bit too much speed into the apex, yeah. which is then delaying your exit because you don't have the car rotated. So you're saying brake here? Yep. Okay. That's a difficult one. Yes, yeah, it's quite it's blind. Really you come up over yeah. the out I never, of the I, I never got that one right. I always seem to be pushing way too far out there. And yes, not, yeah. exactly right. Okay, turn five, very good. Okay. Okay, so basically identical there. And turn six, laid on the brake, but that's okay. Laid on the brake? Yep. Okay, that's okay. a good one. Laid on the brake, and on this red one, which was your best lap, actually released the brake a little bit early, which obviously then has delayed your, your, th your throttle. Okay. okay. So we just need to hold the brake a little bit longer, further into the corner. If we look at this one here, okay. So in this zone here, you've got off the brake, okay. And then your speed in this area here it's too slow. Is is too, too quick. Fast. Oh, too fast. Too quick. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the car's facing this way, whereas if we're a little bit slower, we'd then be able to rotate the car earlier and have the car facing that way. All right and then you can get to the power earlier. Okay. I don't know how race drivers do it. Like it's quite a, um, 
Mentally exhausting task. Definitely mentally exhausting. Yeah. It's something there that, you know, for you guys coming here today, the mental fatigue is the big thing that normally Absolutely. gets you by the end Absolutely. of the day. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So all in all, you know, that was excellent. good job yeah. and, uh, you know, I hope yeah. you enjoyed your day. Thank you very much. No worries. That was awesome. Thank Cheers. You. 60 seconds is the time to beat. I'm feeling pretty confident of getting into that club now. But before I go out again, I want to have a chat with Thomas, who runs these events, and who, coincidentally, also put in the benchmark time in the 59 seconds that we're all comparing our laps against. Oh, I, was, I was really impressed with the way you were teaching the physics of it, because I'm not a physics person, but I really understood what you were saying. Oh, you get I'm glad to hear that. Do you, yeah. you get a lot of feedback people telling you about it? I mean, I feel like going out, even going back home, I now have a better understanding of you know, just driving normally, just how everything works. Oh, well, absolutely. Like, you know, driving a motor car, it's about knowing about the dynamics of the motor car. And, uh, you know, if, if you know the basics, well, it definitely helps your driving. Yeah, and absolutely. It's a bit of a shame, you know, the basics are not taught in the schools. I know. For the young kids, we have lots of young kids, you see it on the news all the time because they... Uh, just don't have the understanding. They know how to parallel yeah. park, but they're not really sure how to yeah, do anything Yeah, they have else. no understanding with the dynamics, but you know, you can't blame them because no one tells them. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me along. All right. Have a nice one day. Great, you enjoy your day. Thank and, you. Uh, maybe you'll come and see us again. Last session, let's see if I can beat my time. So here it is, I'm on my last session, and I really want to break the sound barrier. Come on. Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Ah, I'm screwing this up. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And that is basically the story of my final session. A series of, well, disappointing times. Lap after lap after lap. But it didn't ruin what was already a very special day. Okay, 40 fast laps. 40 fast laps in somebody else's Porsche. Uh, don't have to worry about the brakes. Don't have to worry about the tires. Got really, really high quality instructions, plus data. Like, you have no idea. If you've never done this before, you have no idea how much difference having the data makes. Just overlaying your lap time, your sort of, your braking points, your speed, your entry speed, your exit speed, compared to a pro driver and just seeing where you're going wrong. It's, man, the improvement is, uh, is, uh, is enormous. I, I, don't, I don't think I, broke the sand barrier, <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't even know if I did better than the session before, but uh, I've got to tell you, I've, I've had an absolute blast here. Well, that was a massive day of learning. I'm so impressed by how much I improved from the very beginning to the end, about 6.5, 6.8 seconds. That is huge out here. Uh, and it's got to go with these guys giving me the coaching, giving me the instructions, and also being able to tell me how the data relates to my lap time and how it all works so I can work out exactly where I'm losing time. So if you ever wanted to learn how to drive a car fast and properly, I really couldn't recommend this day more. Now, you will need to do sessions one, two, and three before you could do the master class, which is session four here. But if you go through the whole program, I really reckon you'll be twice the driver you are today.